Hi, this is a quick preview of London, Ontario scenery for P3D prepared. Uh, just so you can see if you like it or not, and if you want to download it, it's free. Uh, if you want to fly it there, uh, just a quick look at it. Uh, basically, since older version, I added uh, all the majority of the buildings around terminal not just the terminal like it is right now like it used to be those are solder jetways they actually do work uh, with your airplane and uh, this is the new stuff basically uh, most of the buildings you know, photo scenery, I suppose. Uh, those are pictures, for the most part. That's what they really look like. So you have uh, pretty much the entire airport, what it actually looks like. Pretty damn close, anyway. Uh, this is my favorite. That's the school I actually uh, used to take uh, flight lessons at. I don't know. The performance is pretty good in my opinion. Uh, I can't complain. Now this road, I, I have everything set out on maximum right now, like traffic and everything. This road is not that busy at all, but uh, it just shows like that. Uh, this is not real. Now we do have some kind of, you know, industrial slash, slash commercial areas there, but I just put them there so I don't know. So there's stuff there as opposed to uh, something like that. I did not put nothing here. So it looks okay from farther away, but obviously it doesn't look all that exciting from ground level. Uh, but these are not realistic. they just there to make it look more interesting, I suppose. Uh, since last version I cleaned up a lot of uh, the areas like where the runways meet the grass. It takes it around just slowing around like crazy here. Uh, it's nice crisp edge. In the old version uh, you could see the photo scenery bleeding from behind from underneath, I guess. I added a uh, couple of hangars that open. Uh, this hangar uh, opens yeah, like that. Shit. Now I just go to solder, text menu, and then go open aviation, whatever, whatever executive aviation. Uh, these doors don't really move the way I wanted them to. I don't know why, but I'm not a 3DS Max Pro, so uh, whatever. Works good for me, and you can close them too. Here is a uh, <clears throat> uh, what is it called? Diamond Flying Center. Again, the door also opens. This one I have set for proximity, so as you approach, it will open. And you move away, it will close automatically. And this guy over here. Uh, I know 737 will not fit in there. I don't know if it fits in real life or not. Well, in this one it won't. And you can open uh, each door here separately, you know, whatever. Again, neat. 
moving doors. Right? And if you don't have solder, uh, you will still have all those buildings. Uh, you're just not going to have the opening doors and you are not going to have uh, the jetways. The jetways are soldered, they do work. Now since I'm slowing around, uh, well I can't really make them work and I'm slowing around with a little airplane. Um, not much traffic spawn here I guess if you can say that, uh, but I do not use any traffic add-on on it. It's like uh, my playing system, I haven't installed traffic on it yet. Uh, so not much spawns on here. It's a, it's a drive I use for testing so that make sure that uh, everything should work for everybody. Uh, again, since last version I changed the outside of the terminal to closer match the materials it's actually made of. Again, crazy traffic around the terminal, but again, it's set up to max, so there are usually not a whole lot of trucks uh, pulling up to arrivals. <laughs> um, what else? And that's how it looks from close up. Uh, you can pull up your 737 or whatever, there's something going on inside. It's more interesting than nothing empty airport. But I try to maintain it so it's not uh, so it's not hard on performance. Those are very simple 2D people. I need just go pictures so from say this angle. Well, they almost non-existent, right? And basic interior again from outside. It kind of looks nice. Uh, there is an inside of the terminal, but again, I not a supporter of making detailed insides because it's a flight simulator and not a shooting game. So really, like, what's the point? And I just, yeah. And that's what it looks like from this side. I also added some trees around, kind of where they are. Added a few here to fill up that area. Yeah. Now this, uh, okay, let's put on light quickly. preview so that's what the night looks like I might have to it's not perfect but it is what it is right the higher the farther away you are from it those lights will start flickering like that with. I couldn't really do much about it, you know, like, yeah, whatever. But when you're taxiing the airport around, you'll be fine. They do not flicker. The only time they do flicker is uh, if you move around with the avatar from P3D. Then they do flicker. And also added a few lights around here, just to give it, you know, a little bit extra, whatever. Couple lights here, and so yeah, that's about it, pretty much. It's London, Ontario, Canada. Much better than the original uh, airport. Yep. Yeah, I can't. 
Okay, so what else it has? Uh, well, it has majority of the cool water effects and, and uh, reflections. And I can see a reflection here. Oops. As this uh, glass taxiway is basically reflecting this one over here a little bit. <clears throat> but one thing, and when I run on uh, 3.2, well, they made the reflection, and it's all nice and sweet and whatnot, but the user vehicle does not reflect. So, like, what the what's the point? I mean, it would be nice if you pull up here with your 737 or whatever other airplane you enjoy and you know park and then you see a nice reflection here of it but no the user vehicle does not reflect I can see uh, in this area here there's a taxi sign that reflects which is all the way over there there's some bump uh, texture with it too to make it more little 3d they are I did over exaggerate them in some areas, but again, it was just a quick job. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> I think especially noticeable in this area here with the right lighting, it looks like you're gonna lose a friggin' wheel taxiing here. But it's, it's not that bad, but <laughs> yeah. Our runway it looks pretty decent. It's all. Uh, photo scenery so this is what the actual runway looks like at the time they made the satellite image of it. There are little taxi lights 3D uh, if I can find one bring it up, there it is. Uh, nothing special again uh, there's I kind of made them work half decent so they're visible from a uh, Fair distance. That thing comes out of view. Yeah, so if you're taxiing, you know you shouldn't have problems again bending lights on or taxi lights and you know it's decent. Uh, no. That's what I want. It's visible pretty far, you know. All right, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is it. Uh, also, uh, I made the... Uh, there is a winter scenery for it. Well, a very basic one. Just basically, it's not going to be green. It's going to be white. Now this is combined with my other scenery, uh, photo scenery for actual city of London, as you can see. Now it's just a very simple photo scenery. Uh, the buildings that are here and the trees, they do not represent the real thing. It's just autogen. But it looks pretty nice. Trees are, for the most part, where they where they supposed to be. Uh, yeah. I still have to make a a night. Uh, sorry, a winter scenery for the city because it doesn't look very pretty when the airport is super white and the city is green uh, basically that's so that's what it looks like that's what it looks like at night a bigger view I can maybe show quickly a little bit of a night texture to it too no, not that word uh, time preview let's make it night so there is a basic you know night for it 
nothing special. Just nice basic night. And we go change season quickly so you can see if you're interested. Season. And make it a winter. Okay. Takes a moment to load. So there you go, as, as I said, with that uh, photo scenery of London, it's very obvious the borders and the whole city looks green. So I have to make it... Now the, the file, the photo file is so big that it's basically crashing my uh, Photoshop. That's why I haven't done it. What I will have to do is cut it in four pieces then apply that filter and then put it back together and save it and I was just a little lazy to do it right now but that's what it looks like with the photo scenery uh, of the city now without that uh, where is that thing scenery library this is what it's going to look like for most of you because I do not share this scenery I mean I do but you know if you're a big fan of London and you want it feel free to uh, message me and I will send you a link for this but uh, in the uploads you only get those things in uh, the file that you downloaded you will only get those things because this is huge this is I don't even remember it's a huge file Anyway, so that's that's what the winter looks like with default autogen. There you go. So it blends a lot better, a lot better with default. Now, to be honest, yeah, I think I do have ORBX installed here. Now, what RBX will be needed for is some of the trees. Some of the trees won't look like that, but uh, yeah. General scenery works just fine without uh, any other add-on. It's not dependent on anything else, and that's what it will look like in summer when you don't have that London photo scenery a little bit more obvious uh, difference I guess oh, I better be recording because there you go actually I, I never use it like that but actually it ain't too bad it's not too bad there are some borders but uh, yeah to be honest I don't think I ever looked at it like that and yeah even without that scenery <clears throat> it blends pretty nicely with the rest <clears throat> I mean with default scenery so yeah sweet Now that building is for little houses <clears throat> instead, but uh, that's not too bad. Depends on how picky people are. Some people are super picky, some are not. Uh, the only thing that I really like with my scenery, and that for that you need installed racks. Now I've been slowing around here like crazy, so I'm not sure if that's going to show up nicely. I have to load, wait a moment to load. Uh, is the grass? Let's try and spot view.
And I do think I have it installed. Maybe I don't. Not sure if I actually have Rex installed here. I think I do. And if I don't, that actually doesn't look too bad, as I thought it would. Uh, basically, Rex has one uh, bump texture for grass. And what well, they have a couple of them. Uh, what well, two, I think. And one is called Fresh Cut Grass, and the other one is called something else. And when you do apply this texture with Rex, that grass looks really awesome. Like, it, it gives it... Uh, the depth. It's really nice actually. Yeah, but I don't I don't think I have Rex installed on this system. See uh, uh, it's here. Uh, yeah, I do not have Rex installed. Uh, this is a uh, <clears throat> this is a system on which I have only flight sim installed. This is the only thing installed on it, P3D, with whatever other stuff I add to it. There is no other software, no uh, antivirus junk, nothing like that. It's a separate boot hard drive, and I think it's a really nice installed actually, as you can see. The frame rates are pretty decent, even if I load the. Uh, like this is everything maxed out except like I say the traffic it's not quite showing now let's see what it's set up on uh, where's my settings those are my settings for scenery pretty much everything maxed out lightning that's the way I like it I don't use internal vehicle shadows because I use a home cockpit vegetation I think that's a killer and buildings, what well, they have to cast shadows uh, for the airplane to cast shadow on the runway taxiways. Traffic, well, I tuned this one. This one is, again, it's not loading. I'm not sure why, but maybe because of all the slowing and stuff. Uh, one thing, maybe another, I wanted to show, say, uh, Rain, rainy, user defined, customize, precipitation very high, there are no five. Clouds, uh, let's make it all broken. Okay. Okay. This is very nice what P3D, uh, what they added, and hopefully they will continue working on it the reflection of the scenery in uh, the ground. This is really nice, I think. It's not easy to spot, but again, some things are not, don't seem to be reflecting, like the user vehicle does not reflect. I think it's stupid, but you know, whatever. There you go, that there is a right here, really nice reflection. Pretty realistic looking, I suppose. So yeah. And uh oh yeah, that's about it. Uh yeah, I don't think I showed the airports from the other side. So some basic night lighting, I guess, which one that thing on it, I don't know. Up the front. I don't know who cares, honestly, in my opinion. I mean, it's a flight simulator, so you shouldn't be here unless you want to pretend you're a pilot and you drove here and you walked. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So that's about it. For the preview, uh, now I just go quickly go over how to install it. Uh, install is really pretty simple. Okay, when you download the file, it's in 
here. No. Where the other it is. When you download the file, uh, in the zip you will have these four folders. One, two, three, four. Uh, London City, again, this is that huge one. I wish you are, uh, you know, if you want it, you can email me and I can uh, upload it and send you a link. But these are the four included. So basically, just on any hard drive you want, you know, make yourself, uh, that's how I installed it. The London, Ontario scenery folder. And put these other four, four, four folders in there. Okay, then you start your sim. Sim starting. Okay. And you basically will go to your scenery library. scenery library and you will add them over here simply go to add area navigate to uh, where that thing was in this case I have it here London Ontario scenery choose you know whichever one let's see this one and okay and should grab the name here right there and okay now I'm not going to do it since it's already there and that is the sequence the order I have it set up in I really don't think it matters but it works this way right so the London city is the least important again you don't have it unless you really want it then again, London Airport, which is uh, basically the ground scenery, uh, the photo real scenery. Then London Tarmac, which is the taxiways and runways. Uh, then CYXU Terminal, which is the actual terminal, plus the buildings around the airport and other. And the MISC is... Uh, the extra roads and just junk, you know, clutter I added with uh, instant scenery actually. So, all the park cars, uh, I believe the other uh, industrial buildings there too. Right, so this is the order you would want it in. And just, you know, okay, whatever, and rebuild the whole thing. Oh, I also wanted to, to hopefully. Uh, Oh, here to select. Do we have? Uh, I should have this guy installed. Yeah, PMDG. Yeah. Oh, whatever. This house colors is fine. Just to show that performance is actually pretty darn good. There's a little counter here. If you can see that. Again, I have certain shadows turned off. I'll just slow it. I'm not gonna fly it because I'm using a Microsoft Gamepad. I can't fly with that. You know, but still, even just slowing around. I seem somehow holding here the 30 frames per second. Now, of course, if this airport was to populate with. Uh, Another aircraft, I would, I would probably get a hit, but uh, yeah, it doesn't. I've seen a spot view the thing. No, no, no. So yeah, well, like I said, the 737 does not fit here. 
Or maybe if somebody lives in London that downloads it and knows whether 737 should fit in here or not. Hey, let me know and maybe I can make that thing taller. It almost fits. Let's uh, sort it, let's menu, open the north one. Well, some of it does. <laughs> so I guess if they are doing maintenance on the tail, they would have to work in the rain. But yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. So yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. You know, enjoy it. Uh, definitely, there will be a lot more reason to fly to London now for the simmers then uh, yep yeah. that's about it okay thanks for watching